Hi folks, it's Saturday the 27th of July, I think, and um, yeah, um, once again in a different place. Um, yeah, slept and woke up this morning at Goldsmith Island, um, not a bad spot, nice, the anchorage was good, um, had a good night's sleep, um, even with some early morning rain again, so yeah, I think it's the mountains that just catch the rain and yeah, bring it in. Anyway, um, I saw the tide was going to be out for most of the day and my little beach I was getting going to go to was all rocky at the bottom. So yeah, nice sand at the top, rocks at the bottom. So I thought, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I up it, anchored and I'm now here in um, Thomas Island. And uh, once again, nice little anchorage. Um, it's filled up with boats. <laughs> um, I think when I got here, there was two others. Now there's probably about six or seven, but uh, that's just uh, the way we all move around. Um, I'm just as guilty as anybody of crowding the place. So, um, yeah, it was about two hour sail across. Um, pretty straightforward, nothing really to... Uh, that stands out. Um, saw some whales in the distance, the sprume, spray, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually see any close up like I did yesterday. So um, I was all fixing to go ashore. It's a bit of a dull day. Actually, it's now clearing up now. It's the end of the day. Um, so I was thinking go ashore and have a dip in the water. Um, but yeah, it just got a bit dark and then I found, oh, my ducky needs a bit of repair. So, um, I hope I've put the patch on correctly. Arr, the patch. Um, yeah, so, uh, probably can't use it for the next 48 hours according to the instructions, but that's okay. Um, there'll be plenty of time. And it is just good sailing around, just sitting around, look at the view. Um, I even tried some fishing. <laughs> yeah, you know how that went, um, as it usually does. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, I'll get there. Um, first try with uh, my new rod and everything. So uh, yeah, for the rest of it, this is what happened today. Hi guys, it's Saturday the 27th of July and I am just leaving my anchorage here at Goldsmith Island. Um, yeah, it was getting a little shallow and when I looked at the beach, it was all rocky at the bottom. I thought, yeah, no, I'm not stopping there for any old beach. So I'm on my way now. I'm going to Thomas Island. So let's see what that has to offer. These are all places that have been recommended, so I have a pretty good feeling about it. So let's uh, see what today brings. Yeah, so just edging around the point now from where uh, my anchorage was. Um, it's about eight meters deep here. It's uh, yeah, it just goes to sort of show how much the tide rips through these areas, carves nice deep channels. Oh, there's two boats there. There was one last night. Anyway, Thomas Island is down that way somewhere. Let's get these sails up. On yesterday's video, I uh, showed an example of uh, the way the tides rips through the rocks and it reminded me of the Bay of Fundy in Canada. Here's another example. It's just taken a whole level out and it's uh, taken it down to the next layer in the rock. Okay, this is where we came in yesterday between those two headlands. is that channel that we came uh, down through the middle of. Um, looking back at uh, the first beach at uh, Goldsmith. And this is... Well, I thought this was the Ingot Isles, but there's also the, um, the Sir James Smith Isles. And here we've got Blacksmith. Around there, down there, somewhere is where we're going. Over here, we've got Ladysmith. And Anvil Island and Hammer Island. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see the thing that's going on here, right? Um, as somebody said, they really leaned in with the naming of these places. And continuing with our theme, um, that's Silversmith and Coppersmith Island. There's two there apparently. I uh, just can't resolve that yet. Um, and Thomas Island is the uh, darker, nearer one on this one. Um, behind that, I believe, is Shore Island. And in the distance is Mansell. So, yeah, a bit of a muggy sort of a day, but not bad. It's, uh, it's certainly warm. 
um, which is nice. And we're just going along at a bit of a pace that's uh, against the tide as usual. Uh, but hey, it's only a couple of hour journey anyway. And uh, Coppersmith and Tinsmith. Tinsmith? No, Coppersmith on the left and Silversmith on the right. Probably based on their comparative values, size of the islands. I don't know, maybe. And Thomas Island getting closer. I did see a whale spout before, but that was quite a way ahead, so uh, don't know if it'll be the same as yesterday, but you never know. Getting closer. Done a jibe, but yeah, the uh, jib is pretty well useless at the moment. I should reel it in, but got a half out just in case, um, yeah, I get a little bit more on the side, so to speak. And uh, Silver and Coppersmith Islands. I think this might be the mainland or something looming in the clouds there. So yeah. Okay, so once again, <laughs> we are fighting the tide and giving chucked all over the place. Actually, this is good for my hip action. Yeah, hey, that's good. Yeah, yeah, getting the exercise here. Anyway, you can see um, the waves going here. Um, it looks to me that the tide is coming more out of the uh, right side of frame. Um, you can see those waves, the way they fight up against the water. So I'm just gonna get myself more over to the left here and maybe get around the point that way. So yeah, we'll get around that point and uh, go around to the left and get out of this muck. Okay, so we crossed that stream of current okay and uh, yeah, we've added another knot to our speed now. So I keep having to drive the main sail over as the wind sort of veers one way or the other. Anyway, we've got Fairlight Rock here. Thomas Island. Dead Dog Island. Who names this stuff, right? Okay, back into another current now. Uh, against, of course. Just uh, we swap one stream for another, basically, but uh, that's all right. We're still doing uh, just under three knots across the ground. Um, it's streaming through here quite. Uh, vigorously as is normal in this part of the world and it's a bit of chops so that the sails are flapping on too so all good we will get there. still getting chucked about the tides coming out of where we want to go to so uh, no relief in sight yet poor dead dog island hope it was a good boy or girl Slowly coming around the corner. Yeah, looks nice and sheltered in there. So far, so good. Sleeping dog might have been nicer, but uh, yeah, I can see it now. Um, yeah, the head's this way, nose down on the paws, and the big ears. Anyway, if you're not taking the same drugs as I am, you're not seeing that. I'm not taking any drugs, but anyway. Just a saying, right? Uh, now coming up the north side of um, Thomas Island with outcrops of pines along the cliff edges. Quite uh, rugged rock there. That's um, <laughs> Dead Dog or Sleeping Dog Island. And back there is from whence we came. Yeah, there's so a lot of islands here now. They're all getting a lot closer together, which is kind of neat. Don't have to go far to basically check different ones out. So, and yeah, up there are the Lindemans. I think this might be part of the Lindemann group too, actually. Anyway, I don't even think they were one-hit wonders, to be honest. Hmm. So, cool, breaking the cliffs through the valley there that continues right on into the sea. And back to these cliffs again, going around that point in a moment. Mm, some pretty amazing formations here, big caverns and caves. Um, yeah, some of those ones you sort of think, okay, that's going to cave in at some stage soon. Anyway, this is like Christmas morning coming around the corner. What kind of un anchorage will we unpack today? As I said, it's very rugged here. All these caves and other formations. 
no doubt eaten away by the sea over the years. And coming up on the next corner, where we'll see where we will be spending the night tonight. This kind of thing keeps you alert. There's a rock just under there. You can see the way the water, well, you can see the colour. Uh, you can also see the way, well, it's not doing it now, but the way it's been breaking over it um, as it suddenly gets very shallow. So we'll uh, go around that. Okay, so another anchorage. And look, I've got a private beach. Well, nobody else has been on so far today since I got here. So I'll claim it. Three other boats, they all went to that beach. Good on. And looking around the other way, that's Mansell Island. And then the big island over here is Sh Shore Island. Um, which I will probably go to next. Um, it's quite a narrow channel between Shaw and the next island, which I can't recall the name of right now, so that'll be interesting. Well, I'm sure it'll have a very strong tide. And it's time to give this guy a bit of a go. Thank you for watching another Fast Forward to Queensland video. As always, don't forget to like, comment on YouTube, and subscribe to Dawn Radar.